Kelsey and the Tones the Big Lord. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I asked you guys in a previous video if I should do a Nigerian bridal makeup tutorial and a lot of you were like, yes, Dima, do it. So I've done it. The look is easy and the tutorial is straightforward as well. This tutorial is perfect for all and best parties, not just weddings. So I hope this video is helpful and really quick reminder for Dedicated to Digital. If you follow me on other social media, you know that I've been talking about this for a while. If you're still not sure what it is, it's just basically me and a lot of other talented people in the beauty industry, digital space, sharing tips and tricks. Me, I'll personally be talking about YouTube, how I've grown on here, how I make money on here, what I used to edit for like the common regular questions that I get all the time I'll be answering and I'll also be sharing things that I've never talked about before so tickets are still available for sale the date has now been moved to the 22nd of July I'm going to leave all the details that you guys are going to need in the description box so I'm going to start out by priming I'll be using my Mac 24 hour prep and prime extend eye base it looks like this and this is just going to prevent my eyeshadow from creasing you need to prime if this is eyeshadow that you're going to be wearing for a very long time you need to prime your eyes so that you know your eyeshadow doesn't break up not break up break apart crease whatever you need to prime just to control oil this helps your eyeshadow last guys i'm trying to make sure that my edges are flat that's the reason why i have like two satin bonnets on my head right now i'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette that i got from aliexpress again if you've not seen my aliexpress video basically i went on aliexpress ordered a bunch of makeup and reviewed them so if you've not seen that video i'm going to link it somewhere here go check it out so okay i'm going to start with this palette here this one that has this very hot pink here so i'll use this as a transition color and i'm going to use it really lightly when it comes to nigerian bridal makeup there are three things when it comes to makeup three different types of looks that i see them go for mostly the first one is like a smoky eye so sometimes especially if they have the eye shape to pull it off some of them really like very smoky like dramatic eyeshadows and they look good especially when they're wearing like one solid color from head to toe it looks really good sometimes they also go for something monochromatic so brides will probably let's say wear a green outfit from head to toe but then everything on their face is peach so peach eyeshadow peach blush peach lip color i think that that looks really good as well but then 80 yeah 80 percent of the time i feel like brides go for looks where they kind of try to highlight a color on their outfit so especially if they're wearing something that is really colorful has like multiple colors on it you'd see that the bride will go for a look that highlights at least one of the colors on the outfit and that's what i'm going to be doing because there is pink on the top that i'm going to no, you guys already saw it so there's pink on my top but i'm going to try to highlight the pink I do this almost every time I have makeup on. I'm going to go in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in French Fries. I really like this particular one because it's so close to my skin tone. It, it just gets the job done without like looking too much under the eyeshadow. This is just going to help the lid color that I'm going to apply. It's going to help it appear more vibrant. On my lid, I'm going to be using this silver here. This is my MAC 239 shading brush. And this eyeshadow palette is the Eye Magic eyeshadow palette. I'm going to leave the name of everything in the description box, okay? To add some depth to my crease, I'll take this brown here. This is my Sigma E45 crease brush. Just make sure that I have enough of the brown here and then I start dragging it inwards. This black, I'm not going to take the black into my crease. I'm just going to focus on packing it into my outer corner. So this is my Sigma Warm Neutrals palette. I'm going to take this and this is actually optional in all honesty you don't have to do this you can actually just use a translucent powder to set the concealer that you have in this area but i like to use this particular eyeshadow to make sure that i don't have any harsh lines i'm going to use this here this is the control blender brush by makeup addiction just going to use it to blend out the area where like my crease color meets my brow bone highlight color just add that pink in that area going to use my Stella Magnificent Metals Liquid Eyeshadow and this one is in Diamond Dust. The silver eyeshadow that I have on my lid, I think that it looks okay but then I feel like it needs some extra pizzazz. Okay, I'm not going to apply a lot of this, just a little bit on my 
arm like this and then I'm going to go in with my finger and take this and then just dab this all over the silver. We don't joke with our eyeliner in this part of the world. I'm going to be using this one by Pixie. This is literally one of my favorite um, pen liners ever. It's very black and very pigmented. And this was from the collaboration that they had with Weili Hong. I think that's the pronunciation um, sometime this year. So I'm going to use this to create a nice line. Nothing too dramatic, but then again, it's not going to be very thin. going to be using one of my favorite pair of lashes from Beauty Kink. This one is in Mama de Mama. I wanted to wear my top while I was filming this video, but you guys know the way that we make our traditional attires. Like, they're not really made for comfort. Like, I couldn't even raise my hand up, so I had to take it off. I'm wearing a t-shirt, but once I'm done with, like, the things that require me to move around a lot, I'm going to put the top on. Applying some mascara. This is just to separate my lashes and to help them merge with the forces that I'm going to apply. So this is my MAC Technical Liner Pencil in Graph Black and it's a very black, very pigmented eyeliner. I'm going to line my waterline with it but I'm also going to line my lower lash line a little bit as well. going to prime my face with my Too Faced Cooling Matte Perfecting Primer. Guys, it is really, really important that you prime your skin. If you're going to be doing, like, if this is true for a traditional wedding or you're going for a wedding period, any type of place that requires this type of makeup, please prime so that you don't sweat it off, so that your foundation lasts longer. And just so that you enjoy, I don't know, your makeup, okay? I'll be using my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NW45. Guys, this is literally no joke. The foundation that I would use on my wedding day. I'm not joking. That's how much I love this. This is the only foundation that I trust. Like, I know that I've worn it and I've sweated and nothing has happened and it just stays put. The most important thing is to just make sure that you apply it properly, you have an even base and then you use the primer underneath. As long as I do these two things, this foundation lasts for me, okay? So highlighting with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amand, but then I'm going to apply a little bit of caramel in this area as well. This is my Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in Espresso. I'm going to set the contour parts of my face with my Milani Pressed Powder in Earth Glow. I'm going to smudge the brown that I used on my crease. I'm going to smudge it on my lower lash line. I'm going to take this white here. going to apply it here as well so I'm going to put my top on and then come back so I am back this is my auto gele here if you've not seen the video of me trying these out for the first time I'm going to link it somewhere else somewhere else somewhere else I'm going to link it somewhere here on top so that you can check it out Okay, so I'm noticing now that I have quite a lot of gold beads on this gaily. So I'm going to add a little, just a little bit of gold on my eyes, just so that everything looks put together. So this is my Perception eyeshadow from Colourpop. This is the Shayla X Colourpop eyeshadow palette. I'm going to take this gold here called TF. We'll be using this blush here. This is my Real Techniques blush brush. And this blush is from the Inglot and Freedom System. I'm going to leave the number in the description box. Over that, I'm going to apply Max Lip Gloss in Weekend Barbie. 
This is actually not MAC, this is Anastasia Beverly Hills, oh my god. This is ABH lip gloss in Weekend Barbie. I don't know why I said MAC. Over that, I'm going to apply this Lip Shine from NK. It's in number A63, I believe. I'm just going to apply this on the middle of my lips, just a little bit. I got this jewelry set from Balogun Market. It comes with a neck piece, a bracelet, and two earrings. Okay. Guys, this is really cute, considering the fact that it's not expensive and it's just beads, but it looks really cute. I don't know, it looks a lot more expensive than it actually is. So this is my Nigerian bridal makeup tutorial. Don't forget to follow me on other social media. It's Dimmalme on Twitter and Instagram. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.